Ruronis, this is your pal, Ruroni K95 here. So here's my new DVD update where I'm going to show you my favorite horror movies that I picked from my horror movie collection because I decided to do a new video on my... I haven't done a new DVD update since I did one yesterday. I haven't done one before. If you want to check that out, if you don't want to miss my new update on my new video that I've uploaded yesterday, just be sure to click on my notifications bell button. Read the up. So you don't want to miss any new updates as well, which we'll talk to more about later on when I finish the video. Okay, the next one I have is Alien with Sigourney Weaver. This is the one that I got from Hollywood Video back in 2006, I believe. This is like a sci-fi horror film from 1979, directed by Ridley Scott, and it features Tom Skerritt. Sigourney Weaver in this movie. I mean, if you want me to do a movie review on Alien, please leave a comment in the suggest please leave a comment in the suggestions if you want me to do a movie review on Alien. So I can good way to remember. Um, the next one I have is uh, Pet Cemetery. This is probably based on this movie is came out in nineteen eighty nine. And it was features and it's, we all know it's based on the book by Stephen King because this movie was directed by Mary Lambert. For most families, moving is a new beginning, but for the creeds, it could be the beginning of the end because they us move ne in next door to a place that children built with broken dreams. The pet cemetery is a tiny patch of land that hides a mysterious Indian burial ground. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, with the powers of resurrection, master of the macabre, Stephen King will take you and the Creeds to hell and back, but the Creeds didn't have return tickets. Your tour guide was kindly old, jo old Judd Crandall, the neighborhood nice guy who knows the secrets of life. <coughs> Sorry. But has seen enough to firmly believe that sometimes dead is better. Okay, because we all know, because this is based on the novel by Stephen King. I got this on Amazon a while back, and I know that this came out in 1989. This is a pretty good horror movie. Uh, we all know that the new Pet Cemetery movie is out. As a little boat trivia I forgot to mention. And the next I have is an, another horror movie, Stephen. Another horror movie under werewolf movies from Stephen King, and that's Silver Bullet. It's based on the novella by Stephen King called The Cycle of the Werewolf. In Stephen King's thrilling adaptation of his novelette Cycle of the Werewolf, the peaceful town of Tarker's Mills is suddenly terrorized by a mechanical killer. The townsfolk think a madman is on the loose, but a wheelchair-bound 13-year-old played by Corey Haim from the Lost Boys knows the truth. A werewolf is on the hunt with his uncle Red. Help, young Marty Kosla. Kosla, Kosla sets out to stop the half man, half beast, before he sinks its teeth into another innocent victim. Now time is ticking, and the full moon is rising. Yeah, this did feature. Gary Busey in this movie. This movie was directed by da Daniel Atias. This movie came out in 1985. We all know it's based on the book by Stephen King, which is Cycle of the Werewolf. I mean, this is another 80s horror movie. The next I have is Night of the Living Dead. We all know that I got this at Long's Drugstore. Here, I'll show you what the DVD disc looks like. This is a George A. Romero film. This is basically released by Sterling Entertainment. I know the cover's missing, but I got this case as a backup, and I had to write this down so I can wrote down the name of the title of the film. I got this DVD, Night of the Living Dead, the the classic George A. Romero film from 1968 or 9? Yeah, 1968 at Long's Drugs. I mean, it's about Barbara and Johnny went to see to the funeral. Uh, to the funeral and all, to the grave cemetery and all, to see what's going on there. And then he enjoys teasing around Barbara, like, they're coming to get you, Barbara. And then 
a zombie came around the cemetery. And then there's other, and then he killed Barbara's brother, Johnny. Because the character, the one who protects the girl inside the house, said, told Barbara that your, her brother is dead. And he kills all the zombies, and when, as well as setting the couch on fire thing, or furniture one on fire, to scare away the zombies in Night of the Living Dead. There's also a follow-up to this, which is Dawn of the Dead, because you gotta love the classic horror movies. Um, the next I have is The Omen, with Gregory Peck, Lee Rimmick. Unleash the dark terror of Damien with his spectacular... When their child is stubborn in Rome on the sixth day of the sixth month of the sixth hour, Robert Throne, an American diplomat played by Gregory Peck, which is the Academy Award winning actor, and his wife, Catherine, played by Lee Remick, are devastated in this despair. Throne changes his undead baby, his dead baby, one of the, for one born at the same time, and unwillingly enters a bargain with the devil that could millionates in a series of a gruesome accidents and then the child is destined to, to, to destroy, one day destroy the world. The scene at the end is where the most scene that I saw intense uh, from the omen is when the dad was when the, the character of Gregory Peck plays tries to kill Damien in the omen movie at the church but they shot the character him at the end. We all know this movie is directed by Richard Donner. This was released in 1976, but it did feature Leo McKern from one of my favorite movies, Lady Hawk, in this movie. I got this DVD a while back at Target back in 2008, which I believe. And the next I have is Reanimator. Herbert has a very good head on his, uh, his shoulders, and one, another one in a ish on his desk, deep within the morgue at the Miskeon, Miskatonic University, arrogant madman West, played by Jeffrey Combs, introduces a fellow graduate student, Dan Kane, played by Bruce Abbott, to starting his formula for the reanimation of fresh corpses, but the secret of life and death has some very messy consequences to get ready to experience one of the most outrageously entered inventive horror films of all time over the top of class. Now, oh. because you know Reanimator, because this movie was came out in like 1985. This is from the, the one. The release I have is from Anchor Bay. This is another horror movie I would like to review for later, which is Reanimator. Um, the next I have is Bram Stoker's Dracula. Got this at half price books. In Bram Stoker's Dracula, Coppola returns to the original source of the Dracula myth and from the Gothic romance. And he and he creates a modern masterpiece, Gary Oldman's metamorphosis as Dracula, who grows from young, old to young, from man to beast, is nothing short amazing. Winoa Ryder brings equally intensity to role of a young beauty who becomes the object of Dracula's devastating desire. Anthony Hopkins co-stars as the famed doctor who dares to believe in Dracula and then dares to confront him. Um, um, the mo but my favorite scene in Dracula is when he protects Mina in the, the Circle of Fire, but he confronts Dracula's brides, saying, You whores of Satan, in that movie. And then, another cool scene that I saw from Dracula is when Abraham Van Helsing kills Dracula's brides and he throws the heads. This is a lot more closer to the book. You gotta love this movie. Because... Oh yeah, Bram Stoker's Dracula is a lot very true to to the original story from, which is the original novel. The last one I have is New Year's Evil. You know what this movie is because this is about Diane Sullivan who is hosting like a New Year's Eve party for like like a rock concert, like a punk rock hot hot New York, not a Hollywood hot New Year's hotline in 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 Hollywood. And the bands and bands like Shadow perform New Year's Evil in the movie. And Richard Sullivan kills every female victim at the stroke of midnight New Year's Eve. This is a great movie. I mean, 
Ross Kelly from Happy Days is in this movie. And the killer and who and the actor who played the killer, Richard Sullivan, which is Kip Niven, he died. This did feature Grant Kramer from Hard Bodies and Killer Clowns from Outer Space in this movie. If you you got my favorite scene from New Year's Evil is where is the bikers try to chase Richard Sullivan down on in the passing by Golden Arrow Liquor in the movie. And the drive-in movie theater where it shows the Red Queen kill seven times in an Italian horror movie and a drive-in with Bloodbath, a 1976 horror movie, it, it, which is you can it, which can be heard in New Year's Evil because you gotta love this 1980 horror classic in the same year as The Shining. That's why. Okay, so that's it for my quick DVD update on my favorite horror movies. Thanks for watching. But before we go, here's my quick thoughts because just like I do with my anime updates on there I'm, I'm gonna I decided to pick whenever um, when, come up with in mind when it comes to start doing a DVD update that's why hope subscribe for content and then find a link in the description down below you share this video on your Twitter Facebook if you have a Twitter and Facebook account if you like this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up please click on my subscribe button become a subscriber to Ruroni K95 because if you subscribe to my channel because I'll have 472 subscribers. If I get another subscriber, I'll have 473 subscribers. Because I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. If one of you subscribe to my channel, feel free to join my channel. So click on my notifications bell button. Be sure to don't miss any updates on my YouTube channel. As well as my new videos that I've previously uploaded on YouTube as well. Like, subscribe, favorite, comment, share your social media pages like Facebook, Twitter, etc. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment in the video. If you like this video, check out my new videos I'm uploaded. Be sure to click on my subscribe button and become a subscriber to Ruroni K95. If you if I have another subscriber, I'll have 471. If I get another, I'll have 472. If I get another, 473 subscriber. Because I'm trying to get 500 subscribers as well. Be sure to click on my notifications bell button on my YouTube channel as well. Be sure don't miss any of my new updates because this is my new DVD update, which I haven't done daily. That's why, and that's it. So, if I if I have an idea of doing a DVD update, this is what I have in mind as well. And I know today is thir and I know today is Wednesday. Tomorrow's going to be Thursday. This is Ruroni K95. I hope you like my DVD update. I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next one. And have a great Wednesday because tomorrow's Thursday. This is Ruroni K95. Saying thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching. And this is Ruroni K95 signing off.